the bell and went out to find the cat. Come and watch. <laughs> Fancy was brave enough to walk right up to that cat. Hello, I'm Fancy the Mouse. Ah, and I'm Beauregard. Pleased to meet you. You know, Beauregard, I and my friends, Dancy, Clancy, and Chancy, think your beautiful collar will look nicer with something shiny hanging down from it. This bell would look terrific on a pretty collar like yours. Well, yes, it would. Hey, I'll put it on right now. So, the cat happily put the bell on his collar. <laughs> Thank you for being my friend, Fancy. It'll be fun to play with nice mice like you, and Chancy, and Dancy, and Glancy. Fancy belled the cat. But instead of a warning, the bell's jingle let the playful mice know when their new friend, Beauregard the cat, was nearby and ready to play. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after in the little cottage. The end. <laughs> One little bell helped the mice make a new friend. Bell? Hmm. Wait a minute. Stella was ringing a little bell as she read this story the other day. And I think I know where it is. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> I found it. I have found it. Oh, well, Stella's bell. Oh, in. Oh, in. The number one! The number one! <laughs> it's from Stella's alarm clock. Now we found the number one and the number seven. But we have so 